Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Carry On Behind from 1975, directed by Joel Thomas, and the 27th Carry On film in this series. That's yes, we are back once again, ready to discuss Carry On, and this time around, Carry On Behind. Um, so this is the one that will be the final um, Carry On narrative film uh, for me to discuss on the channel, um, you know, at least this time around, and um, yeah, it'll be in terms of reviews, and um, yeah, so I've been going through the films um, over the last year or so, uh, particularly in the last few months, I've been going through most of the Carry On films on the channel, and uh, this will be the final one. Of you know the main yeah as I say films uh, to discuss and um, yeah it's a, it's the one that I do enjoy and have a few things to say about um, so yeah first of all there will be a spoiler warning for this discussion if you haven't seen this film I simply recommend seeing it first and then come back to this video and uh, we can go from there we can talk about this film and all things carry on in the comments uh, so yes with all that said let's discuss my thoughts on this film and uh, yeah this is one that I do enjoy um, quite a bit you know I think it's definitely uh, for me I'll say it now. You know, if I had to pick, um, you know, a, a film uh, for the current, you know, kind of franchise to end on, you know, for them to go out on, um, you know, what, what do I think should have been the final, you know, official, you know, kind of narrative feature film, uh, you know, I think it should have been this one, uh, just personally, just to, you know, in my opinion, for my preference, uh, you know, and I don't enjoy, you know, the, the, the next three, you know, kind of films going forward, you know, Karen England, uh, Emmanuel and Columbus, you know, I just don't like those films at all and um, you know, I think this is the one that is at least a worthy Karen film for me and um, you know it is obviously a retread in some ways of different Karen films like Karen Camping. Um, definitely you know the plot is a bit you know kind of thin and uh, you know it's kind of a little bit rushed at times here and there and some things could have been better. Also we don't have quite a lot of the cast in this one by this point you know different members have left um, you know of course um, just uh, you know I think even though um, you know it has got some of the regulars of course Kenneth Williams, Joan Sims, um, you know of course Peter Butterworth, um, you know Bernard Breslau, um, you know it's definitely coming to an end anyway because you know Bernard Breslau this was his final one uh, you know of course and his 14th appearance in the current films yeah his final one quite a lot of the cast members had left uh, previously and they were you know if they hadn't already left um, by this point you know it's their final one in this film and uh, obviously the next few for me are just a, a no-go anyway um, so you know it was definitely um, you know end of an era and um, this one at least they kind of went back to the at least you know similar location to one of the highlights of course being Karen Camping um, you know it's, it's a campsite of course in this one a riverside campsite and um, we have as well you know part of the plot is the archaeological dig site, um, you know, or dig, you know, being part of the, the actual campsite itself. It's a nice return, you know, to that kind of feeling, uh, you know, familiar feeling, if you will, uh, with Karen camping and uh, just, you know, out in the, the countryside here and uh, nice locations. Uh, filmed pretty well, you know, I think uh, could have definitely could have been better in, in the way of that, and, you know, in the editing stuff, um, but it was it was nice and, uh, you know, some of the locations that are used in Karen camping, uh, you know, used, um, you know, in this film. And just some of the characters in this film, you know, very good. Um, Professor Crump, uh, played by Kenneth Williams, uh, I really loved, and uh, as well, Peter Butterworth in this film, uh, it's definitely one of the standouts, uh, and, uh, you know, the way in which she gets with uh, Joan Sims, you know, her character, you know, in the end uh, was, once again, I was, I kind of forgot that, you know, kind of um, plot element where they, it's because it's really in the final act where they kind of um, recognise each other, uh, see each other, and then obviously it was, you know, they get back together in that sense, and, uh, you know, I really, Really like that kind of final act in, in that, uh, you know, the way in which they get back together there, and it's really nice. And uh, the ending, the outcome where they drive off as well, that was that was really good. And uh, you know, it, all these you know quite interesting characters at times. Uh, some of them, you know, are kind of um, a bit surface level and, and you know not the best. And um, you could say just taken from other carry on films in a sense. Uh, but you know, the cast elevate this. Uh, obviously, we don't have Talbot Rothwell writing this film. Um, you know, this by this point he was out of it, and uh, you know this is. The first Karen film uh, not to be kind of written by him, you know, since Cruising, of course. Um, so, quite, you know, a you know chunk of the Karen films, really, the main um, chunk of the series, are all you know written by Talbot Rothwell. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it has necessarily a different feel um, to the last film, you know, being Karen Dick, um, that was written by Talbot Rothwell. Um, but you know, I think it definitely, you know, these uh, films here, they kind of they do feel a bit different to, you know even just, you know, ones like Karen Matron from the 70s. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I obviously Talbot Ruffle not writing this film, uh, you know, by this point, I don't think that was the main issue. Um, but, you know, it's definitely um, to be noted there. So, yeah, Talbot Ruffle not here and uh, a lot of the cast not here. Um, but despite all that, you know, I think this is actually better than quite a few of the Karen films uh, just for my enjoyment. And, uh, you know, I think it is well put together. You know, I think um, the first act we have just different, you know, kind of moments with Kenneth Williams uh, giving the speech there. And that was really funny when he kind of uh, shows uh, you know, 
the, the audience there, that kind of uh, video, and uh, no, it's just really hilarious uh, at times. And uh, just, you know, I think in this film, you know, some different, you know, kind of cheap moments here and there, the crowd, for example, some of the reaction shots there, I, you know, I will say is a bit, you know, kind of on, a bit cheap on the nose there, and you kind of, um, yeah, just go through the motions. But it is a funny sequence, and uh, I think Kenneth Williams, it's just really hilarious in this film at times. And uh, I love the pairing he has with Anna, of course. Um, some are playing Anna, and uh, they kind of go to the archaeological dig, um, of course, um, for research and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very interesting because we have all that going on, and uh, you know, the rest of the characters are just kind of there to, you know, on a holiday and stuff, or just, um, you know, for, for fun, you go to the campsite. It's quite bizarre from with times, uh, you know, I think um, different interactions with Peter Butterworth, you know, what's going on there was quite um, strange. And uh, just different moments in this film is quite wacky, you know, the, the kind of moment when, you know, one of the caravans, you know, with uh, Elk Summer and uh, Kenneth Williams, it's kind of uh, lopsided and goes, you know, kind of uh, off there. And, and then, you know, afterwards when they get out, you know, it's just kind of um, back to normal and uh, there's no, you know, kind of uh, blemishes on it or anything like that. And uh, obviously the fire and the tent and all this kind of stuff, the, the the food and the dog, you know, there's different wacky moments um, that, you know, it's quite funny, uh, but it is a bit, you know, kind of uh, silly. And, uh, you know, I think a couple of moments for me as well that are just uh, a bit, you know, too over the top, um, some of the reactions and stuff and um, a bit too bit too loud. Um, but mostly the film, despite, you know, not having uh, Talbot Rothwell writing, uh, you know, I think the script is pretty solid, um, you know, not, as I say, much in the way of plot, um, but, you know, that doesn't matter. And it just focuses on the characters. Um, a very quick introduction, um, to the characters, you know, you could say in the first act of the film and, uh, you know, just um, very quickly, yeah, just glossing over a lot of them, but it did get me invested. Obviously the cast helps, uh, you know, the fact we've got Joan Sims, Bernard Bressler and all this, you know, I'm instantly kind of there with with those and, you know, kind of just interested in, you know, what's going on. Uh, but, you know, I think it was a couple of nice moments, definitely in the first act, uh, setting up the characters. Some of the characters are definitely rushed a bit, uh, but once they get to the campsite, which is pretty <laughs> soon into the film, uh, you know, it's, it is really nice and, um, you know, I think the flow is, is mostly um, quite nice and just a relaxing film, peaceful one, uh, you know, it's comforting, charming and, uh, you know, easy going. Um, I guess it's not too eventful, you know, this one, uh, but despite all that, you know, despite having some cheap moments here and there and some you know, moments to go a bit too far, you know, I think this is a very, you know, at times just nice film to watch. It's definitely a solid film, uh, you know, I think it actually manages to be better than quite a few of the Caron films and uh, you know it has obviously got some things missing from this one uh, no denying that you know Talbot Rothwell not writing um, of course and it does lack at times the carry on you know the, the secret ingredients to the carry on films uh, you know that, that true feeling in that sense um, but you know it does feel like a carry on film it's as I say the last um, proper true you know carry on film to me you know the ones that I enjoy at least and um, yeah I think it, it should have ended here really uh, if you're asking me um, but you know I think they make this work, even though a lot of the cast are missing and all these different things are not there. And, um, you know, I think it's just an enjoyable film. Uh, you know, there's definitely some moments in the final act that are really nice, uplifting and uh, warm. And, um, you know, I think it's nice. Different nods to, the, you know, the series as well. Um, for example, Karen Camping as well. And just, I really enjoy, you know, Joan Sims in this film and uh, just the fact that she is playing uh, Patsy Rowan's mother in this and uh, Bernard Breslau, just the friction there. That, the drama, you know, it really, really works. And uh, just <laughs> in this film as well, you know, it's different side characters, uh, you know, the interaction between uh, Jack Douglas, Windsor Davies as well, you know, just uh, really, really funny there. And, um, yeah, I, I did enjoy that, you know, that kind of double team there, that, that pairing between those two and uh, just all the things that happened to them. And, um, you know, going throughout the film, you know, I kind of uh, wanted it to go on, you know, quite a bit longer. And uh, it's just a very nice, easygoing film in that sense. And, um, you yeah, know, one that you can just put on and kind of ease into and uh, as I say not not too eventful you know it could have been more going on in this and uh, more gags um, here and there and uh, you know I think it could have been funnier in places but really I think despite all that you know it's, a, it's definitely an enjoyable film a solid one I just think when that final act comes together you know you've got all the different threads uh, you know kind of uh, people interacting there and Kenneth Connor as well his role you know and kind of um, things going on with Peter Butterworth John Sims uh, you know I think it is just a very um, you know quite a nice ending and uh, this being the final Karen film that I personally enjoy, you know, it's kind of a nice um, kind of way to end this film, and uh, it's quite quite emotional in a way. Um, this is kind of the proper true ending for a lot of the you know, the Carry On uh, cast as well. Obviously, Liz Fraser, you know, coming back for this film. This is a fourth and final role. Obviously, we've mentioned Bernard Breslau, and um, you know, a lot of the cast, of course, you know, had already appeared in their you know final ones. Uh, Sid James, of course, and Hattie Jakes, Barbara Windsor, you know, in the proper Carry On films at least, and um, yeah, just. It is quite emotional, of course, and uh, it's quite sad. Um, you know, this is 
this is definitely an end of an era, these last few Caron films, and uh, as I say, I don't enjoy you know, Caron England um, going forward there, you know, those last few ones, um, but Caron Behind is definitely a worthy Caron film, and uh, it has some really enjoyable moments, um, some <laughs> hilarious slapstick at times, and uh, just, you know, charming interactions, uh, unique moments, uh, of course, Jack Douglas being, you know, quite a main role in this, you know, it's really nice to see, and uh, him and Windsor Davies um, as well, you know, I really like that pairing, and uh, just, you know, a lot of the cast here, Kenneth Williams, uh, you know, is just on form, and, uh, you know, I think he was really, really funny, and of course, Elk Summer as well, you know, that kind of pairing there, you know, is really, really nice as well. Um, so, you know, I think uh, this has definitely got a few things going for it, and uh, it's definitely better than, as I've said, you know, quite a few of the Carry On films. Um, it's not one of the best at all, and it does have some uh, shortcomings, and it's, it lacks, you know, that kind of, um, at times, the energy and the real, you know, kind of zest, um, you know, kind of sharp dialogue, um, but I think, you know, it still works, and uh, it's a nice, just, you know, feel good, relaxing, uh, you know, kind of um, escapist kind of film in that sense, and uh, just very enjoyable to watch uh, at times. So overall, my rating for this film is a 67%. Uh, so yes, you know, I do really enjoy this one at times, and, uh, you know, I think overall it's a solid film, and, uh, you know, it's definitely um, a one that I think, as we go through the film, it doesn't really have any lulls um, too much. It's just, it's just very much consistently, you know, a fine, you know, enjoyable comedy, and, uh, you know, some moments that don't quite work. Um, definitely some highlights, you know, in the comedy, uh, slapstick and uh, moments we have different characters interacting, uh, but I think overall it's just mostly consistently in you know, an enjoyable film. It doesn't really do too much, um, but it doesn't really do too much wrong either, and, um, you know, I think it is just very charming. Uh, it relies more on the characters, the interactions, and uh, kind of familiar locations and stuff, and um, as I say, the plot, you know, is kind of pretty much non-existent, but that doesn't bother me, and, uh, you know, it's just, you know, I think it relies more on the characters, and, uh, you know, I think uh, just seeing the cast members as well, once again, they do elevate the material, and, uh, you know, particularly highlights included um, Bernard Breslau, you know, in this film, you know, he was just uh, hilarious, and uh, Joan Sims, of course, that back and forth, particularly there, and, uh, you know, I think Kenneth Williams, Elk Summer as well, and uh, Peter Butterworth, uh, uh, Kenneth Connor. so, you know, there's definitely some highlights in this film, and obviously I did really enjoy at times, you know, the kind of Jack Douglas, um, you know, kind of Windsor Davies uh, pairing, obviously, as well, uh, Carol Hawkins in this film, uh, you know, it's really funny that, that kind of, uh, the chemistry there, and uh, what was going on with, with uh, yeah, the guys there, and uh, it was just really funny, and, uh, you know, I think the way, as I say, it comes together in that final act uh, was really, really nice, and it was quite, um, you know, kind of, yeah, it's definitely quite moving at times, uh, you know, in different places. So yes, I think Karen Behind, it's definitely a solid film. So that's my thoughts on this film. What do you think? It'd be really great to hear. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments and feel free to kind of talk about this film and all different Karen films as well. How does it compare, you know, for you to different Karen films, uh, this one? And, you know, what is your personal experience, uh, personal kind of opinion on this one? It'd be great to hear all this kind of stuff. And um, yeah, as I've said, this is the final one now um, to review the narrative feature films. Um, so. Next up, in the next week or so, um, you know, I can't say exactly when uh, I'll be getting the Carry On ranking up. Um, so all the Carry On films, all 30 of the, the official, obviously, narrative um, feature films will be ranked from least favourite to favourite. And um, that'll be a big video, of course, uh, a lot of films to rank. And, um, you know, I have my ranking, you know, pretty much uh, spot on at this point. Uh, just a couple of things to, to kind of uh, double check on. And, uh, yeah, then I'll be filming the ranking. Um, so that'll be up in the next week or so, um, I'll be trying to get that up, and um, yeah, I look forward to that, so um, look out for that, I'll, I'll give another heads up at some point, um, you know, to, to remind everyone that will be coming, and um, yeah, I, I really can't wait to do that, and uh, to hear your rankings as well, if you can do that, or just, you know, some of your favourites, if you can't do a full ranking, obviously, a lot of films, and um, after that, as well as I mentioned uh, recently, it won't stop there, the current content, uh, there'll be more, you know, kind of uh, lists related to Karen films, uh, top tens, and all this kind of stuff uh, I want to do you know, in the future, like, some of the characters and all this, and just, uh, yeah, different um, kind of content, you know, that I, I plan on doing uh, will definitely come, and, uh, you know, I think as well, the specials, uh, you know, the four kind of Christmas specials um, that they've done, I'll be talking about as well on the channel, and uh, probably ranking them uh, as well, and uh, the series, and all, all this kind of stuff, so definitely loads of Karen content to come, you know, after the ranking, uh, but, you know, that's the next uh, kind of big uh, carry on event for me on the channel and um, yeah I can't wait to do that it would be really cool to do you know the video you know I love um, obviously doing ranking videos and uh, as well to be hearing your thoughts as well you know on this and uh, you know just how you would you know, rank the series and uh, if not as I say you can just do your, your favorites and all this kind of stuff and uh, always a pleasure to discuss carry on uh, so tell me your thoughts on this film it'd be really great to hear and um, for now um, you know this is the end of the reviews currently on the channel and uh, you know the, the main films and as I say the ranking will be the next um, carry on video um, so 
as always, take care and thanks for watching.